I test flew the Skywalk Chili 4 at 95 all up for the test manoeuvres and 103 as per Skywalk's recommendation for cross country flying. I have to start by saying that for the last three years I've flown uh, two liner comp gliders. Um, so I'm coming from this um, having not flown ENBs since my very first wing. So I have no nothing to compare uh, it to, but there were still some um, things that jumped out straight away at me. Um, the first one I got out of the bag was actually how much more like um, a comp wing this ENB was to the EMBs I was used to. Uh, the lines were highly optimised, uh, had a shark nose profile and it had internal um, strengthening like the Enzo. Um, so it was pleasantly surprised from the start. In the air, even though I had about five square metres more cloth, it still felt um, well pressurised and I didn't feel lightly loaded on it at all. Trim speed frontals were um, a complete non-event. I even did some porpoising to make them more aggressive. Um, had the poppers on the handles to, to get a good pull and it was very hard to destroy the, the cord. Um, I couldn't get to full speed the way my front camera was mounted, I had to loosen off the speed bar a bit, um, but the higher speed frontal I did, um, I managed to destroy the cord more, and even though it started to open asymmetrically, it recovered on course and was uh, dealt with it very well. That's about the most catastrophic thing you'll, you'll get flying a glider like this, and it was a complete non-event, so that was very good. Uh, spiral exit was nice. It would come out the second you lifted your hand up. Um, it came up much more positively than higher aspect ratio wings that I'm used to flying. Uh, so that's a good safety uh, aspect built in. I did quite a few asymmetrics with the brake in my hand and any action on the trailing edge um, would stop the span from collapsing. Um, so if you're an active pilot, um, even a small amount of brake input is going to help keep the span with asymmetrics. Um, I did a few with weight shift towards the collapse and um, that was the only way I could get uh, get a turn with this glider. It's, uh, it's pretty stable up to 50% collapse with, uh, with asymmetrics. I tested pitch control to, to frontal. Uh, it took four well-timed uh, pitch controls to get it to frontal. Uh, on the third, the lines went slack, um, so I knew the the fourth one would be the frontal. Um, again, recovery was, was straightforward from it. It shows that there's a bit of energy in this wing, uh, but for its class, I would say that it's it's absolutely fine, the energy it's got. The recovery from searching from spin was very quick to react and uh, to fly again. Uh, in the stall, the glider was very keen to refly again. Uh, There's a very small parachutal window, four tail slide, uh, and it definitely wanted to um, to fly, which is a good characteristic. What I have to say about these tests, we're not trying to replicate EN tests. It's already got an EN test. You know the results of that. Um, and it's not to test outside the realms of EN and then go, aha, this shouldn't be in its category. With any glider, you can get results the level above their EN test. What we're trying to do is be playful with the gliders, and if anything nasty jumps out, report that. But really, just to see the, um, the different characteristics that come to light from pushing these gliders outside of their normal flight envelope. So in conclusion, uh, nothing jumped out at me with this wing that said it shouldn't be in the class that it's, uh, that it's in. Skywalk don't aim it at the lower EMB pilots, uh, but for mid EMB pilots and on, uh, I think you'll get on really well with this wing. Um, 
it was very nice to fly um, and didn't have too much. <laughs>